Ah, <sighs> okay, all right. Five minutes to spare to get to class and I should be fine. Everything should be good. All right. <sighs> oh, oh my goodness. Oh, they put up my students' artwork. This is so wonderful. This is like a feeling of accomplishment here. This is great. <gasps> Speaking of artwork, oh my gosh, the lesson for today. Okay, all right, so, um, Let's see. Uh, just I gotta I gotta fix my hair just a little bit. Do I look good? Uh, uh, should I get my comb or uh, I, I don't even know lipstick? I, no, I don't need to impress freaking kindergartners. Okay, all right, good. All right, so okay, I had to go pick up some uh, Taco Bell because I, I I don't have a I didn't have time to make lunch this morning. But whatever. Okay, it's fine. All right, just stop being paranoid. It's your third day, and you know if they find the art room in complete shambles, even though we tried to clean it up yesterday, then. You might get fired, but don't worry about it. Let's just go to class. Come on, let's get. Go let's get let's, whoa. Uh, <laughs> hello, um, Vice Principal Luigi. Now I know why you're standing right in front of my classroom. I, understandably, because the principal's office is right there. But um, I ca I can totally explain. I I really can. Okay, so you see the whole mess that happened in the art room yesterday was my fault. I took my eyes off my students for literally one second. I mean, I was on Instagram, mind you, but, 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 um, it, and I know that's against school policy to be on Instagram, um, when, to be on social media whenever you're at school. I completely understand, but, uh, you don't understand. Like, I had a really, really big, like, uh, prodigy in my classroom, and I am so sorry if anyone had to stay after school like a janitor or work overtime or miss dinner or something like that, and if so, I will absolutely pay for the time that they spent here, and we tried to clean up as best as we could before we left, but you know how that goes. Uh, what are you talking about? The art room is completely clean. Is there something you wanted to tell me, Miss Afmel? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm, and I mean art room. I mean like my my house, because my house is a wreck. But uh, <laughs> no, it, it's it's just been a long morning. I've been substitute teaching for like what two days recently. So yeah, this is my third day. It's it's really just has been a long morning. I uh, cannot tell. By the way, isn't your class performing the school play this year? I hope it's a good one. <laughs> well. I'm not gonna tell this to him, to spoil a surprise, but I am planning Humpty Dumpty. And uh, yeah, I, I think it's gonna be a great play because that falling off the wall action, it's gonna be good. But yes, it's gonna be a great play, Mr. Vice Principal Luigi. Don't, don't worry. Good, I'm a glad to hear. As long as it's not the Humpty Dumpty. Boy, Miss Peach's classes did that one last year and it was a real snooze fest. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure it was. I mean, <laughs> don't worry. I mean, I got like what? I I I I got a, I got a backup plan of Little Red Riding Hood. I mean, come on, who? Grandma's cookies? We got this. Uh, don't worry. I I, I will be perfectly fine. Oh, and then the year before that, we had Miss Daisy's class who did Little Red. You've got to be kidding me. I got to say, I'm a really looking forward to your play. <laughs> It'll be nice to get a fresh perspective from a young lady like you. I will do my best, Mr. Vice Principal Luigi. Nothing's hinging on this except for my career, right? <laughs> you better, because he leans in to whisper. Oh. Principal Mario didn't want me to say anything, but uh, you see, we are having the school district council over to watch this play. And if they are impressed, I'm sure they would be willing to fund a theater department for the kids here. Can you imagine it? A whole new section of the school for kids who want to learn about theater. Ah, it would be fantastic. But of course, if you fail to impress the school district, then you might be impacting the young lives of children who want to so learn about acting. Well, best of luck to you, Miss Afmao. <laughs> and and I thank you. I I absolutely appreciate knowing in the morning um, that I can, you know, I, <laughs> that the lives of these young children are hinging on me in the future, of course. All right. Well, that's perfectly fine. Thank you, Vice Principal Luigi. So I have to change my plans for the play. My career as a kindergarten director is just sinking in the ocean. Wait sinking in the ocean Titanic yes a play about Titanic through the eyes of kindergartners 
Beautiful. Okay, all right. Um, but we 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 won't get to the bad parts. Like we'll we'll just skip like all the bad parts of the Titanic. That's perfectly fine. Yes, yes, I got this. All right, this is gonna be great. All right, and show and tell today. I've got my lesson plan all ironed out. Oh my gosh, it's been more than five minutes. Okay, good morning, class. Hello, everyone. How are you all today? It is so good to see you. It is such a lovely morning. And today, we have something super exciting going on. Today is show and tell. As you all remember, I hope you... Oh, thank you for the apple, by the way. I sincerely appreciate whoever is bringing them. Um, as you all know, I'm going to call class to attention. Today is show and tell, but before we get into that, I have a few announcements to make. Now, first off, we have um, a big announcement. As you all remember yesterday, I said that we were going to be doing the play for the annual beginning of Fall School Festival, and we are doing a play, and wait for it, we are going to be doing a play called Titanic. Now, it's not something that uh, was... Um, it was an event that happened before your lifetimes and a movie that happened before your lifetimes too, but uh, a very highly, um, it, it grossed a lot of income for its uh, size <laughs> because it's a big ship. But really, no, I will get into writing the script tomorrow and I will be also casting roles. Um, we're going to do a kindergartner version of it. So it's going to be a little bit more entertaining and I'm also going to let you guys have a little bit of creative freedom in terms of, um, putting your own self into the play. So we will have some characters. It's, it's gonna be great, trust me. I have a script, I'm going to write it tomorrow. I don't really have a script, but we will have one tomorrow. So look forward to that. But we are going to begin show and tell today. So let me put it on the board. We are going to be doing show and tell today. And I know a lot of you have brought some things. And first off, I'm going to show you guys exactly how we're going to do show and tell. Because I know a lot of you might be nervous to come up here. And this is actually a great lesson in public speaking. Because when you get my age, you have to stand up in front of a bunch of people that constantly judge you with their judging eyes. They always judge you with their eyes. And um, you have to be comfortable with making mistakes. And it's just a be better way to, 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 to deal with it is when you come up here and you put yourself in front of your peers and explain things that you like. It's just great. So let's go ahead and begin. Now I'm going to put this up here and this is a glass rose. Isn't it beautiful? It is absolutely beautiful. So when I was younger, I went to go see Beauty and the Beast uh, with my parents on ice. The, the Beauty and the Beast were on ice. I mean, I've seen the movie, but you know, I, <laughs> we were, uh, it was on ice. And um, my parents had got me this wonderful rose um, as a souvenir and it was just the most beautiful play I've ever seen. It's the only on ice um, thing that I've ever seen. So yes, this is very important to me because it was a fond memory of me being with my mom and dad when I was younger. So yes, what I want you to do is exactly what I just did. Come up here and put your item down. Then you can go on and show. I will be right here next to you, so if you get a little nervous, you know what, I will get rid of this right here, um, so that way you don't have to worry about it. But I will stay up right here with you, and you can stand right here next to me, and you can show off your item, and it will just be a very great day. So, who wants to go first? Anyone? All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and call on people. Um, how about... Megan, how about you go first? There we go. Oh, the lighting in here is just acting so weird lately, but that's perfectly fine. So, Megan, I am so glad you decided to come up and excuse this table right here. I just wanted to get it out of your way so you can stand right next to your item. And what is this? Oh, this is adorable. It looks really mixed up. What is it, Megan? This is Disharmony. Is my favorite character in the kids TV show Our Little Horses. He's cool because he causes all kinds of trouble that a dinosaur would and he's weird and he's really cool and this one time he made it rain strawberry milk and the little horse Bluey Cake drank it and Midnight Sprinkles had to use the elements of happiness to stop disharmony. <laughs> That's very interesting Megan. Everyone give Megan a little round of applause and Megan you can now take your little uh, disharmony to your desk. Thank you very much Megan. Oh, Tommy, you're very brave to step up next. Oh my goodness, what is this? Oh, that's one of those ball hitty doohickey things. Um, yeah, that is really cool. Do uh, you care to tell about it? Ah, I should have known. This is a Newton's Cradle, named after Sir Isaac Newton. It's a device that demonstrates conversation of momentum and energy via a series of swinging spheres when one on the end is lifted 
However, I, 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 TLDR, Tommy, um, however, my father modified this to take you to another dimension. What, what? No, 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 please. Don't do anything. I, I don't need any, if it's gonna call, no, 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 Tommy, don't even look at it, please. Let's, uh, le thank you very much, Tommy. You did a great job. Yay, round of applause. Okay, Tommy, you can go sit down. Who would like to go next? Oh, well, that's very interesting. Um, I brought my lunch to school and my mommy makes the best lunch because she is the best. And so I brought it to show it because it is the best lunch and when I eat it, it is the best. That is super sweet. Aw, that's adorable. I'm sure your mother's a wonderful cook and if I could, I would love to sample this, but it's your lunch and I don't want to eat it. So round of applause for Alexis. Yay! Okay, who would like to go next? Ah, Mr. Kyle, I know you were sick yesterday. We missed you very much. Um, oh, that's what, oh, you did, oh, we actually did painting yesterday. We did painting in, um, art class, but this is, what is this, Mr. Uh, sorry, I was absent yesterday. Kyle got sick and hurt. Oh, so Kyle brought this toy turtle that's painting because turtles are cool and I like turtles. And this turtle is the best turtle because when this turtle turtles, he turtles better than anyone else and he is the first turtle to turtle, but then this other turtle was like, I am better than turtle and you and when we, uh, oh. Yay! Yeah! <laughs> Mr. Kyle, I am actually really impressed with your, um. Love of turtles. That is that is absolutely adorable. I think it's adorable. I just I, I'm sorry I just had to laugh because you said turtle so much. It's cute round of applause for mr. Kyle. Okay, who would like to go next? Um <coughs> um Okay, I Appreciate doggies more than anyone else, but I'm pretty sure I made it clear that you should bring something that you yourself could carry to school and I am sure that Something that carries itself should not be. S uh, <laughs> this is mine and Levin's pet Cookie. She's super sweet, and we wanted to bring her because she's currently living with one of our mommy's friends. So we wanted to spend as much time with her until she goes back to make mommy's friend happy again. Aw, that's super sweet, and I completely understand that. But uh, Malachi, I'm gonna have to ask you to take Cookie to the principal's office so that way Cookie can be taken care of there until you guys get out of school. I just don't want Cookie to rubber butt anymore on the tables or on, you know, just cause any destruction because, you know, it's, it's, <laughs> I, I don't have a really good reputation here so far, at least I think so. Um, Cookie, Cookie. <laughs> Cookie, it's nice to meet you. Yes, very nice to meet you, Cookie. I'm sure you're a great dog. But Malachi, I'm gonna have to ask you to take the dog to the principal's office. Levin, you can stay here. Um, Cookie, you go with Malachi. All right, a round of applause for Levin and Malachi who brought a dog to school today. Very, very nice. Um, yes, who is next? Ah, now this is a little bit more tamer. I am actually really impressed with you, Mr. Sky Jr. Um, I like Minecraft! <laughs> is there anything else you can say aside from that, um, Mr. Sky? Uh, um, I can let's try. Hi, my name, name is. My name is. Uh, Booger Butt Face! <laughs> <laughs> settle down, children, settle down. Uh,. <laughs> It's okay. Take your time. You you can you can do this. Um, I got this really cool helicopter from my dad. He uh he, he got it from me from the helicopter store. Thank you. <laughs> that was a very great presentation. Thank you very much, Mr. Sky Jr. All right, who would like to go next? Uh, oh my gosh. Uh, that is yes. Today as I bring. I bring to you the dirt of my home country. For many years, they work in the fields. Many babies is born. They even be coming to work in the fields too. But me, I says, I say we work in the dirt. And no one was believing me. But I proved it them wrong. With the God and me, we plow the dirt and save the babies. Thanks you. Well, that's a wonderful presentation, Mister. I am that. I am actually very, very um, enthusiastic to hear about that. That is a very great, great accomplishment you have done. Everyone, round of applause. Who is next? Uh, 
That's a... Uh, what the... See, my wife Phil Cordelia is an legit action figure I brought straight from Japan. You can change her face and everything. This is the only thing I bought. I bought a samurai sword with my family. For generations, we have got the Shikon jewel and protected the shrine of... Now, Mr. Jinbop, I believe you need some chill out time because while I am incredibly excited to um, look at your family heirlooms, I am also very concerned for the safety of the school, so I'm going to put you in chill out time and I will confiscate your item until your parents come to pick it up and I will give you your Cordelia waifu um, after school. You can have her back, but the sword is going to have to stay with me. Cordelia Chan understands me. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm gonna put this away really quick and then we can continue with the show and tell. Oh, our final lovely little... Oh, how... What do you have there? Look at that. This, this is my sandwich bag. It had a sandwich I made for a special girl. But, but she didn't want the sandwich. Just like my heart. <laughs> What's wrong with Mr. Ross? Ross is sad. Aww. Why is Mr. Ross sad? Because he's a dongus. Sky! Be nice to Ross. He's our friend. Okay, I'm sorry. Ross is sad because he likes that dinosaur girl, but she don't like him back because he's a slut. You guys are book booger faces. I'm a narwhal! Hey, little buddy. Are you okay? Oh, I tried to share my peanut butter and jelly sandwich with her. But she said she only eats dinosaur food. <laughs> oh, Ross, you're too little for real love. What you're experiencing is puppy love. I don't want a puppy. Uh, uh, um, okay, okay, calm down. Uh, look, right now, you're at an age where things don't make sense. And in time, you're going to discover that dinosaurs become extinct. And that like you, there are plenty of other fish in the sea. That's, that's the nicest thing anyone has ever said to me. I think I love you. Wait, what? No, uh, um, uh... <laughs> Ross has a crush on teacher! Mm, mm, mm. Ew! You, you, you just got the old woman cooties! Shut up! At least she's got a job, unlike your dad's. Aww. Aww. My dad makes videos on internet! <laughs> 